In this video, we're going to be creating some simple event segmentation charts in the Amplitunes demo environment. The event segmentation chart analyzes user behavior in your product by focusing on one segment of your users or comparing multiple segments of users. And that's just what we want to do when we make our daily active users chart. A daily active user is a common metric used to evaluate product engagement. It is defined as the number of unique users who perform any action in your product during a given day. Let's look at how to build this query in Amplitude. When performing a query in Amplitude, you begin by selecting an event. Here we can see all the events we have instrumented in this project. When you first click the Events drop-down menu, you may find a list of suggested events. These events show up based on how frequently they appear in your and others' charts. Some of these events have Amplitude logos next to them. These are five default events that Amplitude generates automatically. For our chart, we only want active events to be included. The event called Any Active Event queries for an event that is not marked inactive in your taxonomy. This chart shows you the number of unique users who performed any action in Amplitunes for each day over the last 30 days. In other words, this is a chart of your daily active users over the last month that shows what baseline engagement of your product looks like. Notice that Uniques is selected as the default computation, and the time interval is daily. This means that the chart is showing the number of unique users per day who performed an active event. To see the specific number of daily users on a particular date, you can simply hover over or click on a data point. Monthly active user is another common metric, it is the number of unique users who perform any action in your product during a given month. Instead of learning about your daily active users in the past month, you want to learn about how many monthly active users have used your product in the last six months. To get that chart, all we need to do is adjust the time interval. This chart now shows you any active event performed by any user measured by the number of unique users for every month over the last six months. Answering more detailed questions is going to depend on the events that you have instrumented. Amplitunes is a music streaming app, so we might have questions about which users are playing what music. Let's say we want to know how many users in the United States have played content in the rock genre in the past month. I'll switch the time interval back to daily. I'm not interested in any active event. I'm interested in a specific event to answer how many users are playing rock songs. Let's look for an event called Play Song or Video that represents when a user plays a song or video. Since we're interested in musical genre, we will need to filter to narrow our search. I'll search for an event property with genre in the name, then select the field Rock, and then click Apply. We have our event, but we're only interested in users from the United States. If we move to the segmentation module, we can select a user property called country and select the field United States and click apply. This chart is now showing us data about users from the United States who listen to rock music and are measured by the number of unique users every day over the last 30 days. And we have our chart. In this video, we have created a few simple but useful event segmentation charts using the Chart Builder. Now is a great time to dive in and get your hands dirty by seeing what you can create using event segmentation charts. Thanks for watching.